I don't think I've ever seen an aviary with this many different mixed species. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Glad to have you here like always. In today's video, we're gonna be continuing our series of aviaries around the world. Now, if you're new to the channel, this is a series that I created a while back where I show you, the viewer, a variety of different aviaries from different parts of the world so that you can get a better understanding of how others keep and breed their birds. This way, if you're interested in working with the same species, you get a general idea of how others keep the birds, whether they breed them in cages, maybe the breeder talks a little bit about the diet and nutrition that they offer the bird, et cetera, et cetera, and you get a better understanding for that species. In today's video, we're gonna be traveling to Denmark, and I'm gonna be showing you a very, very special aviary. This aviary belongs to Turin, and he has a YouTube channel called Tropical Aviary Birds. Without any further ado, let's head over to his aviary. Let's take a look at some of his birds and learn a little bit more about his story and how he began in this hobby. One of the things I love the most about this series, besides obviously looking at all the beautiful aviaries and birds that we show, is the relationships I make with all of these breeders and bird keepers and learn a bit more about their history and how they started in this hobby. For most, it seems like their interest in the birds they keep started at a very early age and Torben is no exception. Unfortunately, as a child, Torben spent a lot of his time in a hospital and while at home, he was mostly bound to a wheelchair. Because of this disability, his interaction with nature was very limited, but this didn't stop his mother from bringing nature to him. At the early age of eight years old, she got him his very first birds, and for him, this was a spark to an everlasting interest in this hobby. Like many of us, there were times when life got in the way of the hobby and he took breaks, but his love for the birds was always there. About eight years ago, when he moved to his new home, he decided it was time to build his new aviaries. He currently has three outdoor aviaries and two indoor aviaries. Two of the outdoor aviaries have been connected to form one larger aviary approximately 65 foot long. This one is as natural as it can get, filled with trees, shrubs for the birds to hide and nest in. In total, Torben keeps approximately 40 species of birds. Of these, about 25 to 30 species are in the large outdoor aviary during the summertime. Most of the species he keeps are finches and softbills. The smallest is the orange-breasted waxbill measuring 9 centimeters, and the largest would be the white-cheeked taraco measuring 43 centimeters. His main goal with the species he keeps is making sure that they continue to breed so numbers in the aviary are consistent. Many of these species he keeps are getting harder and harder to find, so having a good breeding program is essential in order to establish bloodlines for future generations. I'm sure most of you may be asking yourselves, what does he do during the winter time since he lives in Denmark and this is a location that generally can get very cold during the winter? The majority of these species that he keeps inside of that outdoor aviary are already acclimated to these winter temperatures, but regardless, certain measures are taken to ensure that the birds stay warm during the harsh winter months. The large outdoor aviary has a small shelter at one end with infrared heat lamps that turn on when temperatures get below negative 2 degrees Celsius. Thanks to this shelter and the heat lamps, Torben has never had any issues losing birds to the cold climate. Apart from obviously making sure that these species are acclimated properly to the outdoor temperatures during the spring, summer, and fall, he keeps a close eye on them during the winter months, and any bird that seems to struggle with the cold is caught and it's brought indoors to the other aviaries. Here, he keeps those species that can't tolerate the colder winter months. For Turban, the hardest species to breed have been the softbills, especially the white eyes and the Azuri tits. He's had success with both species, but after several attempts. And with the Azuri tits, he's had to make extreme decisions in order to ensure their success. During the time this species had chicks, he had to open part of the aviary up for them so they had access to going out of that aviary and into the garden to catch the perfect insects for their chicks. For him, and also for us, it is incredible to see how these birds exited that aviary and were literally flying free throughout his garden, going high up into some of the trees, trying to find the perfect insects for those chicks that they had in the nest. 
Now, if you've been following with this series, you know that one of the questions or the last question that I like to ask every single bird keeper or breeder that I bring onto the channel to show their aviary is what advice do you have for others that are starting in the hobby? And Torben said that his number one tip for new breeders is to begin with an easy species of birds, but foremost to begin with a large cage or aviary. Way too many begin with too small of a cage, which makes the experience worse. The small cage gets messy much faster, and in his opinion, it's way more fun to watch birds in pairs or flocks than in single birds kept alone for their song or tameness. First of all, Torben, thank you so much for taking the time to send us those video and for letting us use some of the ones that you already have up on YouTube. For everyone that's interested in following our friend and keeping up with his breeding progress or just enjoying the wide selection of finch species and softbill species that he keeps inside of his aviary, make sure to go to the link that is in the description box of this video. In there, it's going to take you directly to his YouTube channel where you'll be able to enjoy countless hours of videos very similar to the one that I showed you here today. Like always, guys, I hope that you guys have enjoyed his story. Hopefully, you've enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to hit the like button, subscribe, and make sure to follow Tropical Aviary Birds. If you want to come out in future videos similar to this one, make sure to go to the comments section. Let me know what type of birds you work with and what part of the world you're from, and we'll work together to make a video very similar to the one that I posted today. Like always, guys, I hope that you've all had an amazing day, and we will see each other in the next video. Bye.